And as one black lady I spoke with earlier today here in New Orleans said, Trump's a gangster. And that means he has cred. This is connecting with black America because they love sneakers. They're into sneakers. They love the, you know, th this is a big deal, certainly in, in the inner city. Everyone remember when the Dracula of Fox News, Raymond Arroyo, said this about black voters supposedly flocking to support Trump because of his mugshot and tacky sneakers. These lights are so bright in my eyes that I can't see too many people out there. But uh, I can only see the black ones. I can't see any white ones, you see? That's how far I've come. That's how far I've come. That's a long, that's a long way, isn't it? We've all seen the mugshot. And you know who embraced it more than anybody else? The black population. It's incredible. You see black people walking around with my mugshot. You know, they do shirts. Arroyo likely co-opted his comments from this appearance at the Black Conservative Federation Gala the day before. And while Trump's rhetoric here was par for the course, it still received some much needed backlash and criticism. If I see a black person walking around with Trump mugs, I'm gonna punch him in the face. Charles. I know, Gil, 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 Gil. You, I, you really can't say that, because A, you don't mean that. Oh, I mean that sincerely. <laughs> to compare black history where we've been discriminated against to his plight. Yes. Well, first of all, he's a billionaire. Mm -hmm. And they're prosecuting him for stuff he did wrong. When Donald Trump compares his plight with that other black person, yes. that is what I had a problem with. If you're a black person and you're wearing a Donald Trump mugshot, you are a freaking idiot. The fact that this man is trying to appeal to black voters by citing his own criminal investigations and citing his own mugshot, I think tells us everything we need to know about how he sees us. Uh, mm -hmm. Frankly, this man can try to do that or he can try to hawk bootleg sneakers all he wants, but the problem for him is that his record is as loud as the shoes, right? Like, we know uh, what uh, life for black America was like under Donald Trump. The things that went up for black America under his president was the unemployment rate and the uninsured rate. Charles Barkley and Michael Taylor have their own personal style and reactions to Donald Trump. I find value in both. Chuck's bluntness to camera is warranted. It's a wake-up call for those who need one. Taylor's analysis is detailed and spot on too. Of course, the black community is anything but monolithic. So let's take a look at what someone from the other side of the aisle thinks about Trump using his tried and true tactic of playing into racist stereotypes as a campaign strategy. I mean, you guys heard it. The streets are talking. They, they, the streets are talking. It, it, Trump, my brother, my uncle, my dog for life. He's holding it down. It, this, this is not the response that Democrats expected, of course, the Democrats to rely upon the black vote when they decided to pursue Trump. And now he has made them, he made, made Trump more relevant in black America than ever before. Candace Owens adds nothing of value to the discussion. It's another obvious grift from her, which of course is always her motivation. That and a deep sense of what looks like self-hatred, but may just be a lack of self-discovery and self-respect. It is sad, but then even when Trump isn't the main topic of discussion, somehow conservatives always find a way to dip into our country's cruel history of racism to try to make a point. Mouse runs Delaware's NAACP and has been involved in the community for decades. They want every black juror to see Mouse sitting with the Bidens. If you can get the jury on your side, all of a sudden, this case is not a slam dunk. Jesse Waters and his brand are representative of the lowest bar. That there's an appetite for it is troubling. Privilege and pettiness has this unspecial talent linking a majority black jury to a non-guilty verdict, in his view, jury nullification before the trial has even started. He's prejudging Hunter Biden as legally guilty and a mostly minority jury of letting him off. Because, of course, blacks are criminals who relate to criminals who enjoy supporting criminality and drugs. If Hunter Biden is guilty, convict him. The verdict should not be rooted in his famous last name, nor the color of the jury. To Waters, the black community and other communities of racial minorities are just statistics in our political system. Respect is not deserved and certainly not earned. It's ironic. That sentence, it actually embodies how so many of us view Jesse Waters.